everybody, so in this video I'll be showing you how to make another Capri Sun wallet except this time it has a lot more compartments in it for those of you who like to carry a lot of cards. So the wallet looks like this. It looks like a book, that's why I called it a book wallet. And you can open it right here like a flap and there's compartments here and here and there's even compartments here. You can put stuff in there. And then on the sides are some zippers and you can pull that down and you can put your money in there, some change. So this is the back and this is the front. So every time I go to the store and take out my money to pay for something, I take out my wallet and the cashier person is like, is that Capri Sense? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And they're like, let me see. And I'm like, look. And they're like, that's pretty cool. Where'd you get that from? I said, oh, I made it. Yep, that's pretty much the story I get all the time. So you will definitely get a lot of compliments on it. And you can say, oh, Crafty Amy taught me how to do that. Let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials using Capri Suns, because I have a lot of Capri Suns, and so I would like to do tutorials for you. I know several people have asked me to do a tutorial on a tote bag, so that I'll be doing for sure. And if you make any of the things that I've shown in my tutorials, I want to see them, so send them to me on my Facebook page. I'll link it right below. So you can send me your pictures, and if you like, I'll even feature, feature them in my next videos. So I want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you for being interested in my channel. And I want to give special thanks to Sammy, also known as Beauty Crush, for giving me a little shout out on her vlog. I was able to meet her when she came to San Francisco, so that was nice. She's such a sweet girl. And if you're watching, Sammy, thank you for subscribing to me. If you don't know who she is, she's a very sweet girl on YouTube who makes videos on beauty. So you should check out her channel. I'll link it in the description box. So I hope this tutorial is easy to follow and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. To make this awesome Capri Sun wallet, you will need 8 clean pouches, sticky velcro, a page protector, ruler, scissors, tape, two 5-inch zippers, and a sewing machine, with thread of course. You're going to start by getting two pouches and cutting a 2 and 3 fourth inch strip. This will be the body pieces to your card holders. So you want to have one pouch uncut on the left side and another pouch uncut on the right side like this. Now you're going to cut pockets that are 3 by 2 and 3 fourths inch. You should be able to cut two pockets on one pouch. So you will need four pouches to make eight squares. So this side will be for the left side of the wallet because the top and the right side of the edges are uncut. Now you're going to get four pouches, two for the inside pieces and two for the outside pieces. The bright pink one is my front piece and the strawberry one is my back piece. Now you're going to sew the zippers to the pouches. Now I'm just changing the presser foot to the zipper foot. So right now I'm sewing the front pouch, the zipper, and one of the inside pouches. Now I'm sewing one of the inside pouches, the zipper, and the back pouch. This is what you should have now. So now you're going to sew the front and the back pouch together down the middle. This is what it should look like after. Now you're going to cut out two squares the same size as the card pockets using your page protector. Now 
Now you're going to get the card pockets for the left side of the wallet and put them together. Now you're going to organize the card pockets so that they are half an inch spaced apart. The clear pocket will be spaced apart one fourth of an inch from the last card pocket. Tape the pockets to keep everything in place for now. Now you're going to sew each pocket one by one using a zigzag stitch. Do the same to the right side of the wallet too. The clear pockets will be sewn later when we sew it to the body piece, so keep the pockets taped. This is what it should look like after. Now sew the uncut side of the card holders. I wanted it to be extra durable so I double stitched it but that's optional. So now you're going to get your body piece and get your card holders and attach it to each side of the wallet. Make sure the right uncut side is on the left side of the wallet and the left uncut side is on the right side of the wallet. So now you're going to sew the raw edge on top of the zipper using a zigzag stitch. Do the same to the other side too. This is what it should look like after. Now you're going to cut off a 3 inch strip and use that for the closure of the wallet. Now fold it two ways to create a clean strip. Now use a straight stitch on both sides. Now you're just going to make sure it fits the wallet and where you're going to sew it. The size of the strap should end up being 4 and 3 fourths by 1 and 1 fourth inch. Now sew it on the back side of the wallet. Now you're going to tuck in the ends of the zipper inside the wallet so when you sew it, you can't see it. Now sew the top and the bottom. The same on the other side too. Use a zigzag stitch. This is what it should look like after, now sew straight down the middle. Now get your sticky velcro and attach it to the strap and the front side of the wallet. Make sure the strap is loose enough 
to fit your finger in between. Now test out the pockets to make sure every card fits. And now you're done. I hope this video was very entertaining and easy to follow. Thanks for watching. Want to see something cool? I got a new phone case. Look how cool this is. It's an Eska sketch. And then this little stick goes here right there see so then you can be like so let me hear your problems okay so i hope you enjoy this lovely tutorial tutorial, tutorial. <laughs>